Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to install a GCC compiler in your Windows operating system. So let's get started. First of all I will go to my browser and I will write code blocks. I am going to the code blocks site because if you want to install GCC directly to your Windows operating system it can be little bit uh, hard or complicated compared to uh, the method I'm telling you or I'm showing you so just go to the browser and uh, enter here code blocks and open this site from code blocks code blocks is a IDE to compile uh, C and C++ program mainly but we are not going to concentrate on the IDE but I will show you how to compile your uh, C and C++ program with GCC and G++ command line and in here I will go to the download section and here there are binary releases source code and retrieve source codes from SVN we are going to this download the binary release and in here there are options for Linux and Windows and other operating operating systems. What I want is this version of Windows. So I want the version with min gw. Min gw is a G++ and GCC compiler with code blocks is bundled with. So just select the executable which have min gw set setup exe and I'm going to download this link from here going to the sourceforge.net file and it will give me some command I will agree to it and it will download code blocks in my system it will take some time because it's around 100 MB file and once it's a download I will show you how to install this and then I will show you how to run GCC and G++ program with command line. Now my download is completed so I will open the executable file from my download and it will start a code block wizard and now I will install this code block so I just need to give the agreement and I will say next and here is the path of the uh, code blocks file which where you want to install it it's in program files x86 slash code blocks in my C folder if you want to change this path just change it I'm going to leave it by default and I will say install and it will take a minute or two to install now the installation of code blocks is uh, uh, finished I can say yes to launch code blocks but I don't want to uh, launch code bo blocks right now so I will say no and I will click finish or next and finish once this is uh, installed in your system just go to uh, the location where you have installed code blocks so I have installed my code blocks at C folder and in C folder I will go to the program files x86 folder and here my code blocks uh, folder is there where all the install files are there and in here I will search for the min gw folder and I will go to the binary or bin folder of that this contains all the C++ GCC all the executable which we are going to need uh, when we compile our program with the help of GCC and G++ so what I will do is I will copy the this path from here and now I will go to the start and here I will go to my computer and I will right click and I will go to the properties and in here I will go to advanced settings 
and in this system properties I will go to uh, environment variables here and in here in the system variables I will search for the variable called path and th in this path I'm going to click first of all I will select this path uh, row and then I will say edit and I'm going to edit the path so this path is uh, by default uh, all the path which it sees or your uh, executable table sees uh, to execute the programs so what I will do is I will give at the, the right end of uh, this uh, uh, this URL or links and first of all what I will do is I will add a semicolon here so just add a little semicolon here and after that I will paste the path of this min gb slash bin so this is the path which I have copied from the code blocks folder code blocks slash min gw slash bin and I will click ok and once again ok and ok so what this environmental variable uh, setting will do is when we run our g++ or gcc command from the command line it knows or it links uh, your g++ with the folder in which this gcc executables are there okay now that's done what i will do is i will make a C++ program and for that I'm going to use this notepad++ which is a free open source uh, no notepad uh, for writing different uh, program languages for example HTML, PHP or C and C++ also and in here what I will do is I will make a new file and I will right click here anywhere or what I will do is I will go to the file and I will say save as and I will save this file as test.cpp the cpp extension is required in order to tell uh, this notepad++ that it's a C++ program and C it's a cpp file okay and I'm going to give uh, the location for saving this file so let me see where I want to save it so for example I want to save it in, in the C++ CPP folder and I will say save and now you can see the title of my cpp file is test.cpp right now what I will do here is uh, I'm going to go to my blog where I have a collection of C++ program so my blog name is programming knowledge blog dot blogspot.com and in here I will copy a simple C++ sample code for example this first C++ program for making a simple calculator and I will copy all the C++ code from here okay and I will paste in this test.cpp and I will save this file and now what I will do is I will go to my start command here and I will say cmd which will open this command prompt so that's just click this command prompt from here and this is a windows command from prompt and in here I will write cd and the path to this c++ file so this is in my file slash cpp so I will just copy or I will go to the path itself which is cd and then desktop 
and then cd file and in here i will go to cd my cpp folder so this is the path where my cpp test.cpp is there right so i will say ls to list out my cpp or the file which are there in this cpp folder and you can see there is one file called test.cpp so what i will do is because it's a c++ file you need to execute g++ command with this cpp file and if it will be a c file you need to write here gcc but this is a c++ program so we will write g++ and then we will output a executable file with minus o or slash o dash o and now i will give the name of the executable file which is test only and then i will say what is uh, the name of my cpv file so so the name of my cpv file is test.cpp as we have defined it and once you will click enter just see here it will generate a new executable file here i'm in the same folder where my cpp file is there so when i give this command and i will click enter it will check for the program and it will build the program if it doesn't have any errors and i have some errors here let me see what is there So I will go to my CPP file and it says that system word or system variable is not defined. So in here when I see here in my program there is a, a code called system pause which is not required by G++ command. So I will delete this and save it once again. So you can see here if your program contains any error the compiler or gcc will give uh, the description of the error right and uh, otherwise if the program is error free and once again when you give the same command which is g++ minus o test which is the executable file name test or cpp then and press enter it will give you no error now because there is no error and compilation is finished and once this compilation is finished you can see here there is a executable file generated here so what you can do is you can directly just click this file it will run the program or what or you what you can do is you can just right click this and see the extension of this which is .exe file and you can go to the same path and say test.exe and when you press enter it will run the same program in your command line also so this is a simple program to uh, simulate a simple calculator so when i give some command for example plus and i will give some number 125 is the first number and 255 is the second number and when i press enter it gives me the sum of these two numbers and accordingly it will give me the product or division or subtraction of the number so this is uh, how you compile the C++ program now if you want to compile a simple C program what you need to do is you can create a new file called so I will create a new file and I will save it as test.c file and notice this in this time I'm giving the extension C so that your notepad plus plus can know that it's a c program and i will save in the same location and you can see it has generated 
a test.c file and now in this test.c file I will uh, make a simple program which will be a simple hello world program in C right so I will add this um, header file and I will just write printf hello world in the main and now I will save my file so it's important to save the file before you compile it and once again I will go to my command line and I'm in the same path where my uh, test.c file is there so here I will write earlier when you compiled your C++ file you need to give G++ right but when you want to compile uh, this C file you will give GCC so write just write GCC and minus O the name of your executable so I will say the name of my executable file is test for C for example this is my executable file which I want to give and then my C file name which is test.c right so I will write test.c and press enter and my program compiles without any error and now when you go to the folder in the same folder it has generated a file, executable file called test for C executable file when I double click this file you can see it goes immediately but when I run the program from here so this uh, file name is test for C so I will write test for C dot exe and when I press enter it gives me the output hello world here right so in this way you can use G++ and GCC command in your windows and in this way you can install GCC and G++ in your windows and compile your C++ programs I hope you have learned something new this time. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.